his praise glorious. You know what? He is still the King of Kings. He is still the Lord of Lords, the mighty God, the everlasting Father. Do you believe that? Yes, he is. And he is still the author and prince of peace. And he is still calming the storms that are raging in our world. Mm -hmm. Never was the world in such a need of peace. Never has contentment been so hard to find. So many men reaching out their hands, our brothers and sisters in so many lands. If ever comes was me.
me show some charity Compassion and mercy The way it's meant to be We'll take the time For the ones who truly need And pray for our nation It's out on the street feel so right at home but whatever it is keep it up because it's working <laughs> we are with family here tonight I love you too thank you so much thank you so much you know um, truly this church and WCIE they really are like family to me and uh, I think that WCIE um, if I have my facts correct here was the first radio station many years ago, 12 or so years ago, to ever play one of my songs on the radio. And I, I'm so thankful for the station, as I know that you all are, and that's why we're here. We're here to celebrate the Lord. We're here to celebrate what He does in our lives. But we're here to celebrate and honor a great radio station, WCIA. Would you help me? Give them a big hand. Thank you for having me here. It is just a thrill and an honor to be here with you tonight. I've met so many of you throughout the day. We've been in a couple bookstores, and you've been so kind, and you, shake, you shook my hand and said, thank you for coming. We really are needed you. And I just, I just looked at one lady in the eye as I say to you all, you have no idea how much I needed you tonight. So thank you for letting me come and share this time with you. I want you to just feel at home. If you want to clap your hands, you, I know you, you already feel at home to do that. Um, if you want to say an amen, you just go ahead, come on. You just feel right at home to do that. Um, if you want to smile, please keep doing that. If you want to sing along, uh, most of you feel free to do that. You know who you are. But we have truly come to celebrate and you know I just got to tell you something that I, I'm so excited about I know that somebody 
called the station and, and said that I was in tremendous pain today because my tooth, I, I think I need a root canal, and I looked like a chipmunk earlier today. I love you too. And thank you so much for praying because I kid you not, about an hour ago, I just felt the infection just start going away. My teeth have stopped hurting. And I just thank you. <laughs> thank the Lord for that. All right, I want you to say hello to these good folks that you've already heard play and sing so beautifully. And welcome my dear, dear friends, our musical director, keyboard virtuoso. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Jay Rouse. And on the electronic keyboards and uh, synthesizers and sometimes Nintendo, I believe you play back here, would you give a warm welcome to Mr. Raleigh Mains? And on electric and acoustic guitar, the unbelievably talented Mr. Mark Pay. And this lovely lady singing soprano from right here in Florida. Would you welcome Tiffany Schwab? Your fan club down there. <laughs> and this lovely lady over here on the end, the unbelievably also quite talented. Would you give a warm welcome to Miss Amy Rouse? And singing, uh, what is it that you do sing? Just whatever needs to be sung, and you do it very well. Give a warm welcome to Brian McSee! All right, you know what? I see some good-looking kids out here, and we really need your help on this next song. So if you could go ahead and bring up the house lights. If you are, I don't know, maybe 10, 11, 12 years old, maybe down to about four or five, come up on the stage, will you? help us on this song. Hi there. Tell you what, let's back up here just a little bit. Come on up. Come on up. I need you all to help me on this song. Will you do that? Stay back behind that line right there. Be really careful. Where did you all come from? My goodness. Now you pay attention to Brian and Tiffany and they'll tell you what to do, okay? Be real careful. Don't stand too close to the edge of the stage here. All right, how we doing? My goodness sakes alive. My goodness sakes alive. Woo! Isn't this a good looking bunch of kids up here? Woo! Okay, how we doing? Scrunch up really tight. Everybody scrunch up real, real tight. Come on, get in there, really tight. <laughs> okay. Is he gonna be okay? You can stand right there if you want. Okay. All right. All right. While we're waiting for the rest of the kids to kind of come up here and get set, I need you all to help me with some actions on this song. Okay? What we're going to do is very easy. We're going to sway back and forth. But I cannot tell you how important it is that we all start in the same direction. <laughs> we're going to start to the right. And we're just going to go like this. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Do it with me. Right, left, right left right left keep it up looking good right left stop okay that's easy isn't it all right now we're going to get to another part of the song and i'm going to say these words howdy friends so when i say howdy friends you just wave at everybody out there so let's practice it you can wave at your moms and dads if you want howdy friends come on friends you can wave back thank you howdy friends and then I'll say, come on in. So I want you to do this like you're inviting everybody over for pizza afterwards. Come on in. All right? Now, how many of you like to yell? See, I knew that. I just knew it. I want you to help me spell the word friend. F-R-I-E-N-D. <gasps> Where's your shoes? <laughs> Ooh, he's going to jump, Dad. This is faith in action right here. <laughs> Hi there. You can help us from right there if you want to. Okay. All right. Now, did you hear how I said that? F-R-I-E-N-D. I left a little space in between there, okay? Now, that is exactly how I want you to yell it, and I want you to yell it so loud that the people all the way up there in the top can hear you, all right? In fact, if you all hear them, I want you to clap, so let's practice it, okay? F-R-I-E-N-D. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three. I 
think you got the idea. All right, now the only other thing I need you to do is at the very end of the song, I want you to put your hands down at your side. Let's practice it. Come on, put your hands down at the side. And then I'll say, start lifting your hands. So let's practice it. We're lift them real slow. Come on, both hands real slow, real slow. And then just lift them all the way up as high as you can reach. Come on, get them way up there. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then just wave real big one more time. Okay? All right. Now that's all there is to... Oh, 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 oh. I can't believe I forgot to tell you the most important thing. Whenever you are up here on the stage, who, do you know? Smile all the time, toothless or not. You have to smile all the time. So let's go over this again. Beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> all right, let's go over this one more time. The music will come in and I'll say to the right, and we'll go right, left, right, left, right, left, stop. Howdy, friends, come on in. F-R-I-E-N-D, the very lift, both hands went and waved. Everybody got it? Oh, you guys are so good. We don't need to practice this anymore, do we? Are you ready to try this? Okay, now don't forget to smell. I mean, smile. Here we go. To the right. We're the Friendship Company. Welcome to the Friendship Company. Stop. Howdy, friends. Come on in to the Friendship Company. Walking down those stairs, 
You guys did just fantastic. I'm so proud of you. Give them another big hand, will you? Give them a big hand, will you? Give them a big hand. Keep clapping for them. Oh. Woo! While the kids are going down, we're going to sing another song here for you. So are we ready? Here we go. Really tricky words on this song. The Lord has birthed a brand new day. You know, uh, the last 11 or 12 years, I've gotten to sing a lot of wonderful songs. Um, people often ask me what have been some of my favorite. And while I have loved the, the big songs like Upon This Rock or More Than Wonderful or We Shall Behold Him, the songs that have meant the most to me and continue to mean the most to me have been those quiet songs, those intimate songs, those songs that have a way of reaching down deep inside to my innermost being. Time and time again have reminded me of God's awesome love, of His faithfulness, and of my worth to him, here are some of those songs for you tonight. In heaven's eyes, there are no losers. In heaven's eyes, no hopeless cause. There's only people like you with feelings. And we're so amazed by the grace we can find in heaven's eyes. You
understand my deepest part more than I know myself. So when I face the darkness and when I need to find my way, I'll trust in you.
I've always heard there is a land beyond the mortal dreams of
more often. This is just a lot of fun. <laughs> I love you too. Jam? <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. Pardon us while we have a little discussion. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm getting too old for this. I'm a mother of four now. Whew. And uh, <laughs> life is very full. Anna is eight and a half now, and she's in the third grade, and, and uh, she's just discovering that boys are not quite as yucky as she once thought. I don't know quite how I feel about that, but... <laughs> and Buddy and Jenny, the twins, um, they are five now, and about the only thing they do share is their birthday. <laughs> And Erin is three, E-R-I-N, little girl. She's three, and uh, she's learning to set important boundaries in her life by phrases like, no, Mom. <laughs> so I'm learning to set important boundaries back. You can use your imagination on that one. <laughs> but, I, you know, there, there are days, and maybe you other moms can relate to this, there are days when, you know, I feel like I've just... I've just got it so together, and, you know, I, the kids are great. You know, they, they even make their beds before they, they come down for breakfast, you know, and I'm in the kitchen whipping up some Pop-Tarts, and it's just... <laughs> you have a problem with that? <laughs> of course not. You do the same thing, and you know it. You know, there, there are days that are just great, and then the other 364 days out of the year, I don't know what happens. <laughs> I find myself, all I do all day long, I feel like on some days, is say, no, 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 stop it, stop, 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 stop. I am not going to tell you that again. Do you need to go have a time out? Do you need to go think about your happy attitude? Here are your two choices. You can mind me or get a spanking. Stop skating in the living room. You're going to skate over the baby's head. Stop hitting your sister. Stop hitting your brother. I don't want anybody touching anybody else in this house 
ever. These are the days Anna comes to me and says, Mom, I've had it with you being the mom. I say, fine, I've had it with being a mom too. She says, I'm going to be the mom today. I said, fine, you be the mom today. Just promise me something. When you are the mom today, you will send me to my room alone. Make me take a really long nap. And when dinner time comes, fill my plate up with all kinds of food and make me eat every bite. <laughs> oh. Sometimes it's backwards, I don't know, seems like. But they are wonderful, wonderful kids. And I'm so thankful. They teach me some great, great things. Um, I know that a lot of you are not unaware that this has been a difficult year for me. And I'm not here to go into details about all of that, because it's not necessary. But you know what? I am here to tell you that God is faithful. God is so very faithful. I have known him to be faithful in the good times. But I know him now to be faithful in the tough times. He loves me. All the good and all the bad. He knows my imperfections better than anybody. You know, there, there are times when I've walked out on a stage just like this. And I've wanted to lift up the name of Jesus in song. I've wanted to lift up the name of Jesus in joy. But I also want you to know that I want to lift his name up in the pain. Because if there weren't the storms in our life, we wouldn't need his unconditional love so desperately. He is so faithful. And I know that there are, there are people in this room on this stage who know my imperfections and my weaknesses and my struggles. And it's a reminder to me that I am a sinner saved by grace. But I also know there are people in this room who are God's outstretched hand of redemptive love. So many of you have supported, and I've learned that support doesn't necessarily mean agreeing with everything, every decision someone makes. But what it has meant to me is that when you support someone, you don't withdraw your love from them. Just as God never withdraws our love, his love from us. In our Bible study, um, on Tuesday mornings, with them, some dear, dear ladies back home, we were talking about Peter, the apostle, last week. And we were talking about him walking on water and how he fell. But the question came up, did he succeed or fail? I had to think about that. I've dwelt so much on his failure that I've missed the fact that he got out of the boat when the other disciples stayed there. Maybe he too had some more growing to do until one day he could walk all the way across the water to touch the face of Jesus. This is the same man who denied Christ after being so intimate with him. And this is the same man that proclaimed him as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I often wonder if in those meetings as he was proclaiming Jesus to be the King of Kings, if there might not have been someone in the audience who could stand up and say, but aren't you that one who denied him? And Peter would have said, yeah, that was me. But I'm here tonight to show you 
that God can work in my weaknesses. And I'm here to proclaim him. And Peter was confident because he knew he was loved and he knew he was forgiven. I'm thankful more than you can possibly know to be with you tonight. I'm thankful to have an opportunity to say to you, Jesus loves me and he loves you and he works in spite of ourselves sometimes. But he's a God of love, a God of wholeness and healing and he can reach in and replace those storms with peace. The kind of peace that truly passes all understanding. You don't even know what it is until you've experienced it. And it's that kind of peace that can change a world at large. And it can change my world. It can change your world. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're in the valleys all of your burdens you carry alone oh but i know i know when you need me call i'll be there longing to prove how much i care and he says to his children
Sandy will be back in just a moment to conclude our night of music, but would you be seated for just a moment? And I'd like to ask every head to be bowed and every believer believing. I want nobody to move for just a moment. I'm going to have one great finale to this night in just a few moments. But right here, we'd like to give an invitation for those that are seated here tonight up in the balcony or here on the main floor, wherever you are, to come back to God. I said to come back to God. If you're sitting here tonight and the communication lines are down between you and your God, I know God brought you to this service. You couldn't have been in this meeting tonight without sensing the Holy Spirit again tugging at your heartstrings. And just before Sandy comes back to complete this night of music, would you let the Holy Spirit draw you back to Jesus? It may be that there are a few that are here this Saturday night that have never really made Jesus the Lord of your life. That's possible. But somehow in my spirit, I know from the Holy Ghost, there are literally scores of people sitting here tonight that for a long time, and maybe not so long, but the lines have been down. And you're here tonight in the providence of God because God brought you here. And you've heard about Jesus in this song fest tonight. You know about God's love for you. You know about the cross. And that last song that they did about the resurrection, that's the gospel. And the Holy Spirit is dealing with your heart right now as your heads are bowed, your eyes are closed. When I count to three, I'm going, not going to ask you to come forward tonight, but I would like to have special prayer for you right where you are tonight. When I count to three, I'd like all over this building, up in the balcony, here in the main floor, wherever you are, I'd like for you to be ready to lift your hand. And I'd like, man, if you could bring the house lights up just enough so that I could see those hands. It doesn't have to be up full, but just so that I can see up in the balcony here on the main floor and Christians are praying, believers are believing. If you're away from God tonight, wherever you are, be ready to lift your hand for prayer when I count to three. Please don't be too proud to ask for help by a lifted hand. You ready? Boys and girls, men and women, young people, singles, Moms and dads, grandmothers, grandfathers, wherever you are, this is your night. Don't miss it. Please don't miss this. In Jesus' name. One, two, three. All over the building, if you want God back in your life, raise your hand high right now. All over the building, yes. I'm not going to ask you to come forward, but I'm going to ask you to take the second step and stand to your feet. Stand to your feet all over this building. Those of you that the communication lines have been down, but you're coming back to God tonight. Stand up for Jesus. Not for Sandy Patty, not for me, but for Jesus. Don't be ashamed of him. That's right. I'm not going to ask you to come forward, but I would like to ask you to do this. I'd like for you to step to your aisle to the nearest aisle and stand there for God. I said to slip to the nearest aisle and stand there for God. And I want to lead you in a prayer right where you are in that part of the building. Thank you for just slipping to the aisle. And I want our personal workers and ushers, or if you see somebody standing alone and you would agree with them in prayer, would you slip to the aisle with them right now and touch them on the shoulder and agree with me for this prayer? That's right. 
up in the balcony, here on the main floor, if you see somebody standing and nobody's standing with them, if you're all prayed up, be sure you're prayed up, well, then you slip to the aisle and just touch them on the shoulder and pray with them right now. We're not going to ask them to come forward. We're just going to do this right now. And I want everybody in the building that will, right now, stand with them. Stand with them to support them. And I want all of us to pray this prayer. All of us to pray this prayer. Are you ready? Let's not repeat it. Let's pray it. Everybody pray this prayer. Dear Lord, I need you. I want you. And I ask you now, in the name of Jesus, save my soul. Make me whole by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, set me free. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord, my Savior, my soon coming King. In Jesus' name, amen. Lift your hands up and let's praise God. Let's thank God. That's right. Give God a good round of applause. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Before you slip back to your seat for this finale, I want to tell you something. Those of you that stood up for Jesus and you got there in the aisle and you stood fast, you prayed with us, if you really meant that prayer, I've got good news for you. Jesus Christ has forgiven you of all your sins. And I'll tell you this, and I say it upon the authority of God's word, if you really meant that prayer, and you asked Jesus to come into your life, I've got good news for you. He has. He's there. Rejoice. Praise God. And I want everybody else in this building that loves Jesus tonight, you love Sandy Patty, give them a good thundering round of applause. In Jesus' name.
Could we have just a couple of more minutes of your time? If you want to sit down on this one, that's perfectly fine. Jay's going to. It's a lot more comfortable that way. You all have meant so much to us tonight. You've encouraged us. You've ministered to our hearts. You've made us feel so loved. I think it only fitting that we give this last song back to you, our dear unexpected friends. is in so hard I can hardly see And the walls of my fortress of faith crumble in on me And when it seems like the end And not a measure of strength to spare Stranger, rescue me. Someone expected friend. 